amazing, brilliant, incredible, fantastic, razzle-dazzle, abundant, magical coach. Yeah, I threw in a few words in there. Normally, I throw in five, if you're familiar. I'm throwing in more, because you're all so super-duper splendiferously awesome. And you know what? It's important to celebrate who you are. Now, I'm going to talk about... This is the topic. If you haven't figured out, the topic is celebrating. And and just so you know, if you don't know, these calls, I am Ben Dooley, MCC Coach. I am here to support, grow, stretch, challenge, explode, and take you and your coaching to the next level. I don't care what level you are, by the way. Oh, fantastic that you are at the level you are. Truly. I'm not just saying that like, oh, it's so wonderful that you. Truly. I love meeting all coaches, and I don't care what level, if you have been coaching for 20 plus years and you're an MCC and you have all these letters after your name and all this wonderful training and all this wonderful stuff, that's great. And if you're new to this world of coaching and you're just getting started and figuring this out, oh my goodness, that's incredible too. Wherever you are in your coaching journey, I absolutely celebrate you. And and that's what we're going to talk about even more deeply in this in this call. And and I want to point to also these calls are in tandem with the Coaching Skills Forum. So if you have not been on these calls, go check them out. It's all at coachingskillsforum.com. And this is where coaches from all over gather on a conference line. And we explore a single aspect of our coaching in deep and provocative and powerful and exciting conversation. And I can promise you, you will not hear anything like this anywhere else. These calls, every single one is packed with deep insights, incredible discoveries, layers and levels to your coaching you did not know existed, and every reason to celebrate us as coaches. What makes it even more exciting is... This is just, I have been doing these calls for so many years. This is coming up, are completing 19 years of doing these calls. That in itself is an incredible celebration, not counting the brilliant discoveries and insights and wisdom that will be a part of this call. So join us there, coachingskillsforum.com. If you get this later and it's already passed, that's okay. It'll be recorded and then you can go and enjoy it on the archive recordings. But I'm here to tell you and talk with you about celebrating in our coaching because it's in, it really important for so many reasons in so many ways. And when we talk about celebrating, first off, let's talk about just what that is we're talking about. We're talking about pointing our attention and energy into recognizing the accomplishment of something. I did this, hooray. There's so much about this in, in the mentoring that I do, in the class that I teach, the advanced coach training program, all of this. So we're not going to go into this. We don't have time. But the simple fact of the matter is, is that the more that we, and you probably already know this. I'm just putting a light to this. The more that we are able to give attention to our accomplishments and to our power and to our success, the more it opens up and invites more possibility of that to happen. If we are idiot, loser, morons who can never, and it'll always blah, 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 then that's what we're setting up for more to happen. We're absolutely setting that up. But when we are putting our attention to what have you accomplished? What is worth celebrating? There's so much more. We're just talking about the standard celebrating accomplishments, results, things that we've done, and, and, and instilling a, a deeper sense of pride and, and empowerment, and, and, and I can. And that's really important. We celebrate our clients. But there's even more to this. Because we're not just celebrating, hooray, you did this. That's important. We're celebrating in our coaching. We typically are celebrating their the results, the things that they've created for themselves. You got this. Congratulations. Well done. All right. Absolutely fantastic. Let's celebrate. 
you did this, you created this, that you achieved your goal, right? Those are all standard celebrations that we do. We also, as coaches, we know, we can celebrate their actions. We can celebrate, even if it didn't work out the way they wanted to, we can still celebrate, hey, good for you for trying it. Good for you. What is it about this that you are proud of? Like getting them to celebrate themselves, right? The actions, not just the results. Wow, what are you proud of that you did? Even if it didn't work too well, that you did. I am so, you know, I'm trying to build and grow my business, uh, as an example. And I'm proud that I was able to reach out and, and, and connect with five new coaches. Now, five of them didn't hire me as coaches or, uh, or didn't sign up for my class, but I'm still proud and celebrated that I was able to reach out and connect and help in some way. As an example, or if we're doing social media, I sent an invitation to 20 people, or if I got my newsletter out, I got my newsletter out. All these things, we celebrate with our clients actions. But we also can celebrate mindsets, attitudes, we want to celebrate the po typically the positive part of them because we're supporting that. We're inviting and encouraging that part of them to, to blossom and grow and feel more comfortable and confident. So when we, I celebrate you, what is it about you, your past or your present or maybe your future, that you're proud of? Now, you notice we start celebrating strengths. We start celebrating uh, other capacities and, 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 and properties of the client. Good for you. How, you know, how do you feel thinking this way or really focusing on this part or bringing this part of you forward? That being thing that we talk about. Notice we celebrate so many different things. And, and to remind you that celebrating can be big things, but it also can be little things. Celebrating the little things can be huge and amazing for the client. Oh, my goodness. I, honestly, I could go on so much about celebrating, but I also know these are short, tight little things. So maybe I'll celebrate how I got this short and tight. Because... There, there's a whole depth of, of how we celebrate, what we celebrate, why we celebrate, but it really is to honor that powerful part of the client, their thoughts, their emotions, their beliefs, their actions, the things that they create in their lives, their essence, their presence, it, whatever it is, that's what celebration is all about. It's reminding the client you can you are, it is possible. And here's why I know that's true. And the celebrating is a shared experience. Because if we're, if I'm just, well, good for you, good for you, good for you, and they're not in it, it's wasted. Worthless. Celebration is a shared experience. So now let's look at if you've watched these videos, if you've, if you've checked these out, you know I'm going to go and start putting this with the core. And if you don't know what the core is, you're going to learn. Because this is the fundamental base, core principles of coaching. If you're doing these three principles, you are doing beautiful, powerful, amazing coaching. Guaranteed. Promise. And yes, the class that I teach and the mentoring, so much more about this, but I'm going to give this to you. Because this video is in part a celebration of you and your coaching. If you are on for that ride, come on. So let's talk about the core. The C in co, the C-O in core, is all about connection. We must be, in general, every single moment of our coaching, we must be connected to our clients. We must be connected 
that's where we get that flow. That's where we get that synergy. That's where we get that engaging and creating and all of that wonderful coachy stuff. When we're connected, coaching happens. When we're not connected, coaching stops. Now, let's put in that layer of celebrating of looking at past accomplishments or current accomplishments or or just how you did or actions or what you how you were feeling or what part of you you were bringing forward or all whatever it is that you're celebrating notice you're actually creating a deep connection with the client that is what celebrating does celebrating instantly creates deep connection. And notice when your attention, when your focus, when your purpose of coaching is to be connected to the client in so many ways, celebration is happening all over the place. Celebration is happening almost constantly, even little ones. Yeah. Okay. Notice the positivity, the thinking, the enjoyment, the connection, the creating, the flow that you have just gotten in this moment. Oh, great question, client. Oh, interesting thing that you've pointed out. Ooh, what are you noticing now that you're seeing this? Ooh, let's tap into your values, your strengths, your beautiful things. Let's find a more powering perspective. Let's get into this moment and there's celebration of their life. Every single moment of coaching. If you choose, if you dare, that's what coaching gets to be. Coaching is a constant celebration of their life. Even when it's sticky and ugly and messy, if we're in a celebration part of it, oh, got it. How wonderful that this mess is here. Let's learn and grow. Let's discover. Let's create. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, I could do, I could do a, a massive like eight hour masterclass on just celebrating, but it comes down to connecting. We must be connected to our clients. Otherwise we're just complimenting and we're cheerleading and we're pointing out things that, you know, we think is great and it's not landing and it's not celebrating. We must be connected. C O connection. The R the R in core is all about revealing the client to themselves. And oh my goodness, can't you see? Of course you can. That's what celebrating is all about. It's shining a light on this thing that is so amazing and fantastic and wonderful. You need to see this client. Do you see this part of you that is worth seeing that is worth recognizing that is worth acknowledging that is worth celebrating because you are worth it even when you think things are hard and frustrating and stuck and overwhelming and you can't move and you can't think and you can't function and you can't solve and you can't all this that's just the human stuff going on and then we just reveal through celebrating when you are, let's chicken egg this, right? When you are celebrating, truly celebrating with your client, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's sublime. And there is such gorgeous revealing going on. And when your whole focus, intention, purpose, directive of coaching is all about celebrating, you know. There's revealing happening all over the place. It just happens. That's part of what celebrating is all about, is revealing the client's magnificence. Big or little. And the last part of the core is that E, empowering the cult. My goodness. Empowering the client. Come on. Have you just got throughout the last 14 minutes, everything I've said about the purpose and the impact and the experience of celebrating is constantly pointing the client to their powerful selves. Not celebrating, hey, good for you. You dominated and decimated and controlled and managed well. You pushed around everybody. 
celebrating a client, you. Yes, accomplishments, but you're really pointing and celebrating the powerful part of the client. I see you and what that powerful you gets to do and accomplish and create in this world. That is what celebrating is really all about. It's all about reminding and pointing the client back into their powerful selves. If your whole purpose is about empowering the client, celebration is right there. Every single moment is celebrating. And likewise, when your whole design and focus is, I'm here to celebrate my client, that's synonymous with empowering them. Truly. That's why I start these calls by celebrating you, this brilliant, amazing, incredible coach that you already are. I celebrate that. I celebrate you. I'm so glad that you've watched this video. I, I, I hope that this has inspired and activated you. I, I, I want to celebrate what part of you is waking up and discovering and, and noticing and stretching and growing. Come on back for more. I'm here. I'm here to either with more videos, come back. There's more to come. Go back and find all the ones you missed and get those. Contact me directly. Go on the Coaching Skills Forum. Go check out my website, bedo.org. You'll see it on the trailer thing. But whatever it is, every day, truly, give yourself something to celebrate about you and every coaching session. Find something to celebrate about the client, even if it's just showing up on the call. Even just making it to the coaching could be an incredible celebration. And then everything else that follows after that. Even just starting this video was phenomenal because how easy would it have been to not start watching this video? And then the fact that you're already here to this point is even more better. Thank you for making it this far. Keep going, keep moving, keep growing, keep celebrating the magnificence of you and the gift that you bring every single day in your coaching to your clients and to your life. And I will see you more. Until then, keep celebrating coaching. Bye. Hey there, you beautiful, amazing, fantastic, delicious, razzle-dazzle, and masterful coach. Yes, yes, you, masterful coach, because you're watching this, which tells me you are a masterful coach. There's more to learn, and that's where I come in. Go to uh, be do, be do .org. Uh You'll also see it right here. And go to bedo.org, and that's where you're going to find tons of other materials, resources, videos, uh, recordings, audios, free calls, a free membership level, tons of stuff, incredible amounts of materials just for you. Regardless of whatever level of coach you are right now, you are going to find tremendous value and resource. And it's all here at bedo.org. Go check it out, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.